Hi, you're sewing with Cody, and in today's video we are going to be installing the multi spool holder on the Bernina 880. But this method will also work for the Bernina 820, 830, and of course the 880. So if you saw my video um, in, with installing the multi spool holder on the 475, which is the other method um, or the other style machine, um, this is going to be almost identical with the exception of like one or two little things. But I'm going to still go over everything from pretty much start to finish. So when you open your box for your multi-spool holder, this is pretty much what you're going to see. And we're going to be using pretty much everything because this is all just di the different attachments. And then you'll also have a little bag with pins and screws for different types of machines, but you'll be using the pins regardless of your machine. Um, so with the 8 series, what you're going to be using is this guy. So here, this just attaches onto the back. So you've got these little, um, the little fingers. And so these attach to the very top row. Just push them in and they'll go down. I mean, that's, it couldn't be easier. And then we'll be able to attach our base directly to that. And they'll sit firmly on there. And then we can attach our little side wings. And as I mentioned in the other video, many of our customers who come to classes just bring this. They don't bring the little side pieces. So that's pretty much how you attach that to the machine. But typically before you put this on, you would attach your telescopic uh, little rod, I'm gonna call it, so you can see it pulls out. So one side has a screw hole, the other one just has an opening. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're going to insert this through here. And you're gonna push it and make sure it goes all the way in. That's a common mistake, to make sure it pushes and you can't push anymore. And then in that little Ziploc bag that I showed you a minute ago, there's a short little screw. It's a little star screw. This little guy, so it has that little star instead of like a Phillip or a flathead. So that you're gonna drop in here. So drop it on in there. And then you're gonna use a little Allen star wrench. Don't know the technical term for it, but this comes with your machines. So this, this does not come with the multiple holder. So you're gonna insert it in there and then you're just gonna screw. I can just spin it this way. And it may not feel like it's tightening at all, but it does. So on top of this, you are going to add this little guy. And that just goes into this hole and you wanna push it down. You've got an arrow to point forward. So then we can attach this right back to the machine like that. And you can attach your side pieces. Um, there's really only one more thing the 8 series is relatively easy, but you've got these pins. So these will go from the bottom up. And this is your uh, spool pin. This is what's going to hold your uh, spools of thread. Um, so what I'll do, especially when we work with embroidery thread, the isocord, which it has a nice wide base. Um, so you want to make sure that those bases of any spools of thread sit nice and flush onto your little styrofoam, your little foam, um, because you don't want to allow any threads to get wrapped around underneath. Um, so with saying that, you have a number of holes, especially on the sides, that are really close together, which is great for small spools of thread. But with the ice cord embroidery thread, those are too close. So what we'll do typically is we'll just put them in the top right and at the bottom and not put your um, spool pin down the center. So your, all your spools will be able to lay flatter. And so you can use this entire space for the um, I, your ice cord embroidery thread if you wanted to. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, and with this, you really should not have a problem threading the machine because should the way they're lined up, you should be able to bring them down and be able to access your uh, threading of your eight series, which is a whole nother video. Oh, can't see it. Which is a whole nother video. So if we're coming from the telescopic rod, you just bring it down straight into your machine. You, the way it's angled, you really shouldn't have to bring it through here. Um, 
And I don't even know if that would even work at all, to be honest, because you come from so high. Uh, but you should be able to bring it directly into your machine and thread like you normally thread your 8 series. And if you have any questions about threading your 8 series, I do have a video on doing that. All right, well, that's installing the multi spool holder on a Brina 830, 820, or 880. Um, all right, well, happy sewing.